Okay, so this is going to be a part two to the Shinobi Atomos 5.2 4K HDMR, HDMI monitor. Now, we need something to hold us, and we're going to take a look at the Fantaseal, can't make this up, 11-inch adjustable, heavy-duty, robust, articulating friction magic arm with clamps for DSLR, mirrorless cameras, iPhones, GoPros, uh, iPads, monitors, video lights, vlog, rig holders, you name it, this will hold it, but it should work with my setup, and that's coming up. I still can't see if I'm doing this right, but we'll fix that. Hey, what's up guys? This is Hervey from Hervey's World showing you how IT means I try. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. So on this channel, we do unboxings, desktop support, life hacks, actual hacking, and figuring out ways of making my setup a little bit more fluid. Um, so we're going to be using our brand new 4K Atomo Shinobi 5.2 HDMI device but I still can't see what I'm doing so this is supposed to be an adjustable heavy-duty robust articulating arm that's going to be able to hold this so that we can finally see what we're doing on our brand new Sony A1 8K camera anything we discuss in this episode you'll find right on the bottom right over here let's take a look do me a favor hit like hit subscribe this is not a very expensive item but maybe it'll help with your setup so do me a favor hit like subscribe the unboxing begin. Now, this is a product that goes for $29.41. There are a bunch of different options that you could use, but you have to use what works for you. So this is the Fantaseal device. It is made of high-end, high-quality aluminum alloy and it's supposed to be a really good steel precision machining, durable, waterproof, sunproof, rustproof. It's going to last in a lot of different weathers and as you see, you see the inputs, you see the different clamps you have, you have some GoPro stuff here and inside we have the clamp that's going to use that we're going to use for our device so this is a very strong clip a non-slip rubber pad right over here so it's going to increase the friction for more stability and safety non-scratch it's going to be used for poles up to 47 millimeters in diameter such as branches poles or railings you're going to be really good with this this is what we're going to use you see we have uh, different phone clamps here and it comes with different items here so GoPro mounts you're going to be good for the head so once we grab all we need to do is to put the pole mount on here and just keep going around so this will hold on the mount we put in our device here and we'll keep it as such little tricky this should do it and we're not going to be moving this at all we're just going to place it where we want it Okay, it's going to stay right there and now all we need to do is to get this on the pole and we should be good to go okay so let's take a look so we're going to place it right over here and tighten accordingly make sure it's nice and tight that's good and all we need to do is to have it in a position that we want it, like so. 
This will do. Maybe a little higher. Maybe a little closer even. Right there. Perfect. And once you tighten, I see. Okay, let's see how we fared. Now, if we just turn the Shinobi on. We have it plugged into the HDMI. I don't like this particular HDMI cable, but it does what it needs to do. And if we're looking here, you'll see that we are good to go. However, let's try autofocus. And there we go. So as you see, we are good to go and I can automatically see what I'm looking at. Well, that's gonna do for this episode. I will catch you guys in the next one. Now, this was a $29.41 $29 expenditure, but makes all the difference because now I can actually see what I'm looking at. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Remember, IT means I try. Peace. This is really cool. Too, too cool. So if you guys are using the Sony A1 camera, how are you guys vlogging with it? This is going to be a really good aspect to make our setup take it to the next level because now I can actually see what I'm doing. Now I just need to fine tune it to get this up a little closer under the camera so that I can actually make it functional for me. Well, that's gonna do for this episode. Do me a favor, hit that like, hit subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.